Hello chess lovers, Sorin here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic game played by Manfred Keller against Hans Joachim Yasser. This game was played in 1977 in Germany and this was a correspondence game. But before starting the game, please take a look at this position and try to find the winning move for white. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Back to our main game and now uh, without further ado let's see what happened on the board. Keller opened up with d4 and knight f6 by Yasser. c4 g6, knight c3 bishop g7, e4 d6. Black goes for king's indian defense and against king's indian white is choosing the 4 pawns attack. This is probably the most aggressive method of fighting against king's indian. White is erecting a massive center but is doing it at the price of falling behind in development. And if Black can open up the position then White can find himself overexposed. Let's see what's going to happen next. Black castled kingside bishop e2 and Black is starting to challenge White's center. We have d5, e6, knight f3. He takes d5 and a very aggressive move by Manfred Keller e5. Black captured on e5, f takes e5, knight g4 and this time we have bishop g5. White is developing his bishop with a tempo, queen a5, c takes d5, white managed to gain a passed pawn on d5, we have knight takes e5 and white also castles kingside. Rook e8 and this time we have d6. Look at this pawn guys, where is this pawn going? I have no idea but seems like that this pawn has a great future. Bishop e6, we have knight d5, knight d7 and there it goes, we have a fork of two rooks. Knight takes f3, check bishop takes f3 and bishop takes b2. Rook b1 and this time black queen munched the pawn on a2. King h1, white is moving away his king from this diagonal and prevents any possible checks. The threat is rook f2. Although instead of playing king h1, knight takes e6 was also playable. If rook takes e6 then bishop d5 is very strong and if move like f takes e6 then only now white can go for king h1 again with rook f2 threat. But in our game after queen takes a2 we have king h1 straight away. Bishop d4, knight takes a8, finally white is winning one of black rooks and then we have rook takes b7, rook c8. Queen e2 and queen a5. Not a good move. After this move, Black is facing serious problems. It was better to go for the exchange of queens and then play rook c6. If bishop f4, then a5. And yes, although white has a slight advantage, but Black can still fight back. But in our game, after queen e2, we have queen a5. Now comes bishop g4. And after the exchange of bishops on g4. What is black going to do? Queen a6 was played, but this time we have queen f3. The queen is protecting both rooks and at the same time is eyeballing on f7 square. Knight e5, black is attacking white queen, but now we have d7, yes, and this is becoming very dangerous. Of course the queen is untouchable because white can go for a pawn promotion by winning black rook and if king g7 then rook takes f7 is coming and then rook takes f3 the queen is hanging also black king is in a mating net that's why in our game after d7 we have rook f8 and queen f6 the queen is hanging right now at some point white can create mating threats and this d7 pawn is coming black accepted the rook sacrifice and captured on b7 and this time we have a pawn promotion d8 queen knight c6 well, the move which could have prolonged Black's resistance was knight g4. It was very important to cover the h6 square. Right now both queens are hanging and if queen e7 then bishop takes f6 and although queen takes b7, bishop takes g5. White has a winning position, but on the way to the victory, white can face some technical problems. Let's go back, but in our game after d8, queen we have knight c6, which is losing on the spot. Right now, as you can see, we have two hanging queens, and here Manfred Keller found a spectacular continuation. You can pause the video and try to find his next moves. Ready? 
Well, he first captured on d4, got rid of this bishop, and after knight takes d4, he played bishop h6 and created a mating threat. Knight d6 was played, and in here, Manfred Keller also munched that knight as well, and finally, we have a resignation. Yes, now all white wants is to bring back his queen and again create a mating threat. And if f takes e6, then rook takes f8, checkmate is coming. That's why after this beautiful queen sacrifice, finally we have a resignation. A very impressive game, I think. First, white went for a queen promotion and sacrificed the queen, then the second queen and finally forced his opponent to resign. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this insane game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video. Good luck!